You might have seen this symbol before. It's called a QR code. Developed in Japan to track vehicle parts, it's been used for all sorts of things from cereal boxes to artwork. Using a mobile device and free software, QR codes have recently been picking up popularity in the States. QR stands for Quick Response, which is why it's commonly used to link to URLs on stickers or other objects which can be read by mobile phones and devices. I'll show you how they work and we'll go on a little adventure in New York City to see what people are using the QR codes for. I'm guessing that this QR code is going to take us to something that relates to this, so let's find out. And yep, this is pretty much the exact same advertisement that they have on here. Take 15% off if you take this to American Eagle. Aha! So I found a little one which is right up here. And I'm guessing that's not an advertisement because obviously it's too far up. It's difficult to kind of access, so that's what makes it fun. Aha, I got it. It was an advertisement for a website called Fashion News Live. So it was difficult to get to, but it was intriguing and it made me go up and get it. This has Russian writing down on the bottom, so I'm gonna see exactly what this is. It's in a kind of odd spot, so. Let's see. Oh, it picked it right up. So this is going to www.n0t.it, which is Italian. Uh, oh, I get it now. The URL means not it. So this was what I expected. It's kind of more of an artsy one. I have no idea what it means. Gonna have to do some detective work. Let's walk down the street and see if we find any more. This one looks different than any of the others that I've seen because the QR code is not made of black. There is a deer and antlers behind there. That's what it looks like. And it says Piper. So it's going to grantpiper.com. And Grant Piper is an art director. Um, yeah, a lot of print and television things. So this looks like it's someone's personal resume. That's interesting. I'm amazed by the diversity of the QR codes and where they led us to. It makes walking around the city a really interactive experience and you're kind of always on the lookout for something interesting to find. If you'd like to try scanning your own, there are many free versions for almost any phone platform. Blackberry and Nokia phones have one built into their OS. Enigma and ScanLife are good for Windows Mobile, QuickMark and Enigma for Android, and Muriscape and QR Code Reader for iPhone, just to name a few. Making your own QR code is easy. The newest incarnation is through Google. Just go to goo.gl, paste in your URL, shorten the link, then add a .qr to the end and you'll automatically have a code. There are a multitude of apps that both create and read QR codes, which are listed in the links below. I was amazed by how many different ways people are using QR codes around the city and where they decide to hide them. If you find any unusual codes, send me an email at rbtech at rocketboom.com. I'm Ellie Rountree, and this has been Rocketboom Tech.